two of the three domains, bacteria and archaea, are prokaryotic. This means that they lack a membrane-bound organelle such as the nucleus, mitochondria, or chloroplast. However, the functions carried on by these organelles are still carried within the prokaryotic cell but with less complexity. Prokaryotes were the first inhabitant on Earth and appeared at least 3.9 billion years ago. Today, we find them everywhere they are ubiquitous. There are almost more prokaryotic cells inside and outside our body than the number of human cells within our body. The reason being that they are much smaller in size than the regular human cell. The early Earth's atmosphere was very different than present today. Mainly, it was no oxygen, hence organisms that can grow without oxygen could only survive. These are called as anaerobes. Photoautotrophs that convert solar energy into chemical energy started to appear. The cyanobacteria are also called as the blue-green algae evolved from the simpler prokaryotes. As seen in this image of the microbial mat of organisms covered the earth. These organisms lived in both extreme environments such as hot and very cold regions. So, what are the characteristics of prokaryotes? Already mentioned in the previous slides, the domain bacteria and archaea. Both these domains include no nucleus in any other membrane mount organelle. Size of a prokaryotic cell are usually measured in microns, hence invisible to the naked eye. They are found everywhere in the ecosystem and contribute to the biological community. The domain bacteria include cells that can be characterized into three shapes. The three shapes also divide the bacterial domain into three subgroups. Caucus are circular shaped bacteria, plural cocci. Rod shaped bacteria are called as bacillus, or plural bacilli. The third group includes spiral shaped bacteria. The cell's wall of bacterial cell is composed of a carbohydrate molecule called as peptoglycans. The wall's thickness divides them into two groups, gram-negative bacteria and gram-positive bacteria. Gram-positive bacteria have thicker peptoglycan layers. Both kind of bacterials can have additional outermost protective layer that can be either slimy in nature or hard as a capsule. For locomotion, a feature such as flagella are present. Bacteria also have a pili that are shorter in length. Bacterial and archaean cells reproduce by fission, splitting of the cell in two. Recall that DNA present in prokaryotes is usually a single circular chromosome. The chromosome loop replicates and starts moving apart. The cell starts pinching inwards in the middle and eventually separates as two new cells. Each chromosome loop ends up in one cell. Besides vertical transfer of genetic information, bacterial cells have a unique process of transferring genetic materials in a horizontal pattern. This process is also considered a lateral gene transfer. There are three ways that this can happen. The first one is called as conjugation. DNA is transferred from one prokaryotic cell to another by means of a connection called as pilus. The transforming DNA is usually a plasmid that may either um, have a chromosomal piece or a segment of a gene. In transformation, the prokaryotic cell can take the DNA found in its environment, either alive or dead, and incorporate the new DNA in its chromosome. 
This process is used extensively in genetic engineering, where a specific characteristic can be introduced into a cell to make numerous copies. The third way of lateral gene transfer is through transduction, in which a virus that infects bacteria moves DNA from one prokaryotic cell to another prokaryotic cell. Here we see an example of endosymbiosis, a theory that states that the existing eukaryotic cell are products of one prokaryotic cell engulfing another. A few primitive bacterial cells have the pigment that helps in using sunlight to form energy storage molecules. These ancestral prokaryotes were engulfed by a larger cell and eventually became chloroplast. Another structure is mitochondria, an energy-producing structure which was also an ancestral prokaryotic cell and engulfed by a large cell to evolve into the existing eukaryotic cell. 